If you have Windows 10, you're going to be in big trouble very shortly because it's going to go away. October 14 is the end of life for Windows 10. And for those reasons, you need to upgrade to Windows 11 if you want to keep getting security updates from Microsoft. So why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One, obviously, is that they don't want to support more than one operating system, although I'm sure they are already in the process of making Windows 12. So wait a couple of years and then you'll have to upgrade again. Aside from that, what's the advantage of Windows 11 over Windows 10? Well, Windows 11 supports TPM 2.0, which is the newest security feature. It requires a physical chip on your computer for it to work. Now, can you make this work on Windows 10? Yes, absolutely. You can enable TPM 2.0 on Windows 10. All right, so what else? Well, there are some things that supposedly are faster on Windows 11. This is kind of arguable and depending on the case use case scenario, you may see some improvements. In some cases, even in the earlier versions of Windows 11, it was actually slower. So that is kind of questionable. What else? Well, it looks different. The taskbar is in the center compared to the left side. And you can use grid snapping. Basically, what that means, if you drag a window over, you can snap it into its location, which is okay, right? But these are all just kind of minor conveniences that you can do with Windows 11. Of course, you can do the similar stuff with Windows 10. There are, of course, other add-ons you can install Windows 10. So all of these things are minor in my opinion. TPM 2.0 is an arguable thing because you can use it on Windows 10. One thing, one thing that I don't like Microsoft doing is forcing you to use a Microsoft account. Even after you use a computer for a long time, it will try to force you into creating a cloud account and sometimes even tries to trick you into it. Now, this happens in the form of pop-ups like this, where it says, oh, do you want to opt in into this or that? And it's kind of trying to get to a point where it has access to your information. Not a big fan of that, but I digress. They can do whatever they want because this is their operating system. And you can upgrade it. You can upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 if you're concerned about security. And you should be, right? Anybody should be concerned about whether your computer is safe to use or not. So I absolutely recommend that. And I have a video on that, which you can watch right here, actually, right now. It's going to pop up. And if you want to check that out, there is a way to install Windows 11 on any computer. And this is the video I made a couple of months ago ahead of time for this deadline so that you have plenty of time to do this. Even now, if you catch this video a couple of weeks early before the end of life, you can still do it. So going back to Microsoft having you use their account their account to even control your computer so you have to be online to use this account i mean you can log in locally and it will still work even if you don't have internet but eventually it will connect to their cloud service and they will have access to your information and guess what the information is money so they will go ahead and sell that information just a small correction here i meant to say share not sell data they will use targeted ads monitor your activity, all kinds of stuff. These are all real things, especially if you don't opt out of these things. To be fair, you can opt out of any of this type of stuff and have it not capture data on your computer. You can opt out all of these things so it doesn't capture data on your computer. And there should be a way, but I'm not 100% sure whether you can stop Microsoft from your personal data. And what do I mean by personal data? Not to scare you, but it's basically your location, your name, and, and all the stuff that you provide to them whenever you create a Microsoft account. So at this time, there is no subscription for Windows 11, but I bet you it's coming very soon too. You purchase Windows 11 right now and you just install it and that's it. But everything else that Microsoft does is a subscription based. For example, Office products, this is all subscription. So I bet you and I guarantee you that this will become and a subscription. Your Windows operating system will be a subscription at some point. So what can you do about it? Well, you can play along and see if it's worth it to you. And of course, we can wait for Microsoft to see what they will do with this and whether they will continue this path because majority of people will not be able to play, pay for this subscription. doesn't matter even if it's like 20 bucks a month. This is just the reality of it. So they will lose a lot of fan base or a lot of, I suppose, fan base because people will just stop using Windows 11 or Windows 12 in the future if that's the case.
What are the alternatives? Well, Linux, right? That's the only alternative. Or if you want to use a Chromebook, but then you kind of get into the same deal where now you have Google using your information to do the same thing as the Microsoft is. And again, it's a business, right? I don't fault them for this, but it is what it is, right? This is something that you need to have a full understanding of, of what is happening. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.